welcome to NBS Show, episode number 338. I am your host, Norman Senzo. Joining me today is Silver Quill. Hello, all you fine Peronis and Pegasus sisters. Hey there, man. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, I think I may have caught the sore throat, so that sucks. But hey, uh, um, gotta. <laughs> how do how do I put this? The show must go on. Yes, right. Oh, le- what is it? Lemon tea and honey. That is one of them. That's one of them. Or you can just take lozenges, or drink a lot of water, or take medicine. <laughs> I like the honey one because at least it tastes good. That's true, that's true. So, anywho, um, thank you for coming on, Silver. I know this is not your usual forte, but uh, I caught you in a, well, I won't say right time, but I caught you at a convenient time. Is that right? <laughs> he pointed a gun at me! Someone said help! <laughs> oh, it's too late. You signed the contracts. Ah! Uh, but, anywho, but, anywho. So, let's not delete that and let's hop right into it. So in the first news, more confirmation and reminder of upcoming future Equestrial Struggle movie and Season 9 episode. So if you guys got no idea, uh, it seems that we'll be getting more ponies in the future. Yay! Uh, in the form of Season 9 and in Equestrial Struggle special. So Silver, what do you know of this? Well, I know that the Season 9, which seems to be the last season for this iteration, it will be the full 26 episodes, which I'm glad. Give the ponies as much spotlight as they can before we make this unique transition. Some people say that this might be the last, but I'm hoping for a 10th season just to round up the number. Just because I want it to be, uh, what you would call this, a decade. A decade full of ponies. That would be awesome. Like, seriously, that would be awesome. 10 years of ponies. Oh, so you're saying this pony has tenure? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It means you can't fire them, no matter how much they might deserve it. <laughs> no. No, I'm not bitter from my college days. Why do you ask? <laughs> oh, boys. But on top of that, we'll get a Equest Struggle special. So um, I don't really want to spoil the audience at home about this. But if you guys seen the San Diego Comic Con special or the panel that they had, they show a glimpse of this. And I'm very excited for this. Are you, Silver? Well, I think it'll be fun. I, I'm not as into Equestria Girls as I am. Uh, My Little Pony. Sunset Shimmer is the is the standout for me. You have this magical world filled with these rare creatures and, you know, threats from from dark beings or what have you, or just a fun slice of life. And then you have high school. I would live through high school. Once was enough, thank you very much. Oh, true that, true that. I did see the San Diego teaser, and I, too, am looking forward just to seeing... <laughs> How are you going to handle this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm more excited of the reaction that A, the fandom is going to have and B, the characters are going to have because shenanigans, I call. <laughs> shenanigans! Shenanigans! <laughs> yep, yep. So, like I said, I'm not going to spoil it for people. If you guys have not seen it, be excited for it. I know I am. Silver is too. And Silver did mention he's not a big fan of the Quest Struggles. So, uh, that says a lot. So that's next oh. year, and I'm not sure when. Yeah, that's always the part that's left up in the air. When do we when do we see these ponies again? Oh. Or these humans? Oh, true that, true that. Uh, probably near the future, maybe March. Who knows? I hope. <laughs> but uh, we don't have to wait long because we have the holiday special, Best Gift Ever. Yes, a heartwarming Christmas special the weekend before Halloween. Ain't that right, Silver? Ain't that the tradition? Oh, yes, I remember gathering around the Christmas tree and hanging all the zombie head decorations. <laughs> oh, actually, what am I saying? There's, there was a, there's a house in Texas. Mm-hmm. I think this was last year, maybe two years ago. They had the, a nativity scene with zombies. Let me guess. Optimus Prime and Decept- the De- Decepticons were there too, right? You know, maybe they should consider that for an- for uh, one that won't get uh, their Christian neighbors upset. <laughs> oh my goodness, Tokyo. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not going to go there. There's something for us privately to talk about later. Oh, oh my. my. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, Norman, wants- Norman wants to get private. Well, Welcome to the news report after dark. Oh, God, no. Uh, maybe, Patre- bow wow. maybe Patreon something. I don't know. Uh, no, not that one. But anywho, uh, Pony episode, excited, yes. But 
let's head into the next news. And Silver, have you ever been to Athens? Greece? Yes. No, I've not yet had the pleasure. Ah, same here, same here. I think I've only been in Europe in Manchester, in the London or the in, or the United Kingdom. Yes, that's where I've been. And I've been to their gift shops and, you know, they have the big bands, the um, guards with the fuzzy beaver hat thingy, and they, they look cool and whatnot. But if you've ever been to Athens, Greece, you'll be fascinated by this kid's shirt. And it seems that somehow there is a pony fan there because they have a Greek pony shirt that looks specifically like the Gen 4 ponies. Well, that's great. Now now can we get the Greek Parthenon behind us? <laughs> uh, no, no idea, but still, uh, this looks cute. This looks cute. And it's ironed onto a uh, kid's shirt, like toddler, baby. I'm looking at the picture of it. I can't give full props to the artist. So, so that, that mane, it looks like he took Fluttershy, stuck Apple Bloom's bow on her, and then warped that mane. It looks like a bottle opener. <laughs> hey, um, if they were to do on point, they would have hired an artist. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I just had the idea for a Fluttershy bottle opener. I'll make millions. <laughs> that, yeah. Uh, but honestly, what do you think, man? Like, to me, this is just a cash grab, but I find it cute. It is a cash grab, and eh, that's not the worst thing in Western civilization or or European civilization. Oh, well, yeah, I, but I really think that they dropped the ball on this because they could have made a Kratos shirt. You no, know, they should have gone with Kratos Pony. Yeah. Boy! <laughs> Friendship is magic, boy! <laughs> Go make some friends, boy! Yeah. At least it's on oh, TV. Oh, boy, boy. Uh, but wait, isn't uh, the God of War we love is set in uh, Norse mythology? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, you don't want Norse mythology and ponies mixing. Otherwise, you wind up with my little slip near. <laughs> oh, God, no. Uh, there's, all, there's so much wrong with Norse mythology there, especially with Loki. <laughs> my little Loki, my little Loki. We need to talk about your different acts. <laughs> yes. Uh, especially Zeus. Oh, God, no. But anywho, last on the news is, well, if you're traveling silver, and especially if you're traveling to the Great China, Great Wall of China, something like that? I, I, I don't know. The Great Fire Wall of China, yes. <laughs> if you're heading to China and thinking of a place to stay, why not at their Pony Team Hotel? Yes. That depends. Is there are there actual ponies in the hotel? I worried about the smell. Nah, it's just licensing by Hasbro. So uh, it seems that uh, a company in China will be uh, buying out license to pimp out their hotel in the My Little Pony team. China will be doing pony specifically, but I am reading through the news, and it seems that my country, Malaysia, will be having a my monopoly team hotel stated to be open in Kuala Lumpur Malaysia in 2019 so that is interesting uh i got no idea what this is all about but team hotels um i've seen it happen in japan with the godzilla hotel and also the eva hotel if i remember right they made an evangelion hotel yeah what 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 do the showers <laughs> Do the, the showers spray the uh, LCL fluid? You know, that you can breathe the liquid? It's, uh, that just sounds horrifying. No, I do not wish to stay there. Uh, there's this really anno there's this really annoying whining kid in the next room going on about how he mustn't run away. And I hear his dad says, get in the robot. <laughs> I don't like adventures. Come on, Shinji. It'll be an adventure. Oh my goodness. But yeah, Team Hotel, what do you think, Silver? I guess I a part of me questions how viable is this? I mean, how how much can people really expect? It's like, oh, a pony hotel. I really, really want to stay there. To my thinking, it sounds like a real dice roll. Oh, true. But I don't know because I'm looking through the news here 
and just looking at a monopoly team hotel um okay let, let's break it down to something more uh out there or more available for us now uh disneyland if you ever been to disneyland or even any uh what you might call this team hotel like i've been to legoland malaysia and it's technically around my neck of the woods and they have their team hotel the lego team hotel and you expect it to be well legos like you have your room decorated in lego paraphernalias and bathrooms with that team too uh, when I went to, I think, Disneyland? No, we didn't stay at Disney Hotel. But they have a lot of Disney themes around their park there too. So have you been? Have you ever been to any place specifically or any place like that? Disneyland, it's been ages upon ages. I'm old. Actually, it was funny. Just last night I, I saw uh, some woman on Twitter was ranting against millennials who were going to disneyland without any kids oh uh, why because she viewed it as a waste of their money and the whole point of the park is for families so have a family first then you can come to disneyland now isn't that a motivation for keeping the species going uh no like i i don't see the point because okay you know what this is another rent for another day but long story short we're young at heart if we want to enjoy something, we should do it. We can say to our kids, kids, uh, this is a fun ride. Be excited for it. Yay, let's go. I mean, it doesn't mean you need to have kids to go to a theme park. Do we? I just find it funny. It's like the dating scene changes. Hey, do you want to go to Disneyland? Yeah. Do you, shall we get married? Yeah, why not? <laughs> you joke, but... Uh, some of the bronies that went to uh, the con. Where's Disneyland located, by the way? Oh, there's several, but I believe one is in Florida. Oh, wait, wait, and one is in California. Uh, what's the closest brony convention there? Oh, wait, no. I'm sorry, Equestria LA. That's the one. EQLA, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's right down. It's just down the street. Yeah. So I, I seen a lot of bronies go there, like especially Griffin and Kreber. And Jack's Blade, and also, uh, who else? Uh, the Car Fanatic. I forgot his name. Jack's, no, um, mm, uh, Saber Spark. Yeah, they, they all go there. They all have fun. They don't have kids. But I know that AC Race Pest is engaged. Yes, recently. But before that, he went there. No, but that's a very unique way to phrase it. Oh my God, he went there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> but the point of the matter is go have fun. You don't need some old fogey to tell you not to. Well, I just find, of all the arguments you could make, Disneyland is for families, man. Oh, well. So basically, going to church is for families too, then. Probably. <laughs> and I've taken us completely off topic. We've gone from talking about uh, Chinese uh, hotels to Disneyland. Oh, true that. But it's in the theme because uh, just imagine <laughs> staying at the uh, Monopoly theme hotel here in Malaysia and you step on the go directly to jail block and you just go directly to jail and don't come out. <laughs> Help! They're not giving us good food. <laughs> Although, okay, for the Lego-themed hotel, uh -huh. I have to I have to ask about their, their breakfast menus. Is there a Lego My Ego? I don't think so, but I think their waffles ah. are in their Lego brick uh, pattern. Ah, it's just not the same. I know. But hey, um, can't say much about that so anyway um that's the news for this week but the, here's a tradition we have silver where after we finish the news i will go to my favorite topic and that topic is what have we been doing for our week and since well you're here what have you been doing man well let's see here uh getting ready for a grand wedding Ooh. out in out in los angeles it will be the wilsonator and midnight sonata also better known as will and katie it will be their wedding as I got to witness the proposal at last year's BronyCon. Oh, wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, and you're the best man or just going to be there? Uh, I'm part, I'm one of the groomsmen, uh, but not the best man. Ah, all right. Still. The... Oh, it's a, oh, it's a groomsman, never the best man. Doesn't that sound hyper competitive? The <laughs> best man. 
<laughs> but it's all good, man. It's all good. At least you'll be there having fun, making memories and whatnot. I demand that we have a battle royale to determine the best man for henceforth. If you're gonna say you're the best man, then you gotta beat every man. Yeah, true. So, yeah. um, which format you want to do? Uh, PUBG, Fortnite, or that new Call of Duty? Let's just say Overwatch and see who can rage quit first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys, yeah, yeah, Overwatch. Oh, by the way, Overwatch is out with their new Hall um, Halloween team. How do you like it? I have been playing that mostly. The Revenge of Dr. Junkenstein. But I don't like it as much as I used to. Overwatch, all they've done is add new costumes. Good ones. Mm -hmm. But it's still just new costumes. And with the character updates they've made to several uh, heroes, the even the Dr. Junkenstein horde mode is very different now. And less fun. Really, you know? I thought the horde mode... Well, uh, besides the one that you have to play is locked to the specific heroes. I thought it's not bad, that bad. And since you're playing on consoles, shouldn't most of the characters are okay? Because I think they had a balance patch for Farah, which made her rocket shoot faster, but other things that nerfed her. Well, the, the characters are locked, but they've made it so you can select Torbjorn. Yeah, the new Torb, yes. Well, okay, there's there's two things. One, this is a horde mode of very slow-moving enemies who come in predictable patterns. Not only can he set up a turret, he can also lay down molten metal, mm -hmm. liquid magma. And basically, he can basically wipe out the entire horde before they even get up the stairs. <laughs> so the rest of the team is just sort of sitting there picking off one, maybe two, uh, Zomniks, they call them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so... You're just sort of sitting there. And I don't play Torbjorn. I'm not a fan of builder characters. And so i just sitting there picking off one or two, but mostly just watching uh, Torbjorn kill the swarm before it even gets within range. Uh, just like, this is not fun anymore. This is not a challenge. Uh, true, but I always view Arcade as getting your nine win to get your three loot boxes. As do I, but at least I could say it was fun or it could be exciting. Not so now. Ooh. Now it's just a chore. So even, oh, and this is just great. I was like, uh, I got a gold, uh, gold release in one of the boxes. Like, yes. Which Halloween is it? It's Mariachi Reaper. That's one of the regulars. Uh, I thought, I thought the loot boxes were gonna prioritize the holiday skins. No, nope. if you what? if you specifically get a gold box. You'll get a golden uh, loot box. Like you know, um, if you get a gold box, you'll be getting a gold item from all of the golden sets. Doesn't really matter where. Um, if you want to get a Halloween specific item, you'll get the pumpkin. Well, well, but that's just it. I did get the pumpkin, golden, and pumpkin? it gave me. And it wasn't a golden pumpkin. Oh. I don't. I thought you had to buy golden. Uh, no, uh, yeah, it's kind of, oh, man, like, loot boxes. There's another story for another day. <laughs> loot boxes, it's, it is gambling. Not really. <laughs> you know it what? Is, it, it's like the slots, man. It's the slots. Kind of, but in technical terms, Overwatch, how they do it is you just get skins. And if you are spending money on skins you should feel bad for yourself or you should feel ashamed for... No, really, that's not true. I did it myself. Uh, I oh, feel yeah. silly. Oh, oh, I see. I see how it is, Norman. It's always darkest under the lighthouse, eh? <laughs> yeah. No, but eh? I, I feel bad after doing it. Like, for events that i done it, like, I spent about, what, 150 box thing was, what, 39, 49, something like that? Mm -hmm. So I bought it kind of felt okay but in the end i thought of myself this doesn't really do anything for me so i stopped buying and i just play the game normally i already supported the game and i'm happy with it i hear you i would very much like to get the farah haunted armor oh man yeah you you, you technically can do that if you have three thousand uh in-game coins yeah no i don't oh boy yeah. i fell out of overwatch for a good while yeah i, I can understand i, I kind of still play it once in a while just to 
keep my SR there and whatnot, you know, just to play it on a weekly basis, but still. So besides that, anything else, Uber? Oh, let's see. Mostly I've been working on resources and scripting for my review of the hoof fields of the McColts, Ooh. including a study of the psychology of revenge. Nice. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be awesome. And did you enlist the help of Seppi? Well, I know she craves revenge against me, but not so. <laughs> okay. No, because uh, I think a while back she mentioned that she was related to one of the clans. Was she? I I completely forget that. Yeah, um, it was a distant relation. Like, she said she did, but I don't really remember which clan was it. But it uh, was a really distant relation. Like, eh, but dang. I don't, I don't know. I, in high school, we did a genealogy uh, project and several classmates claimed they were re distant related to Abe Lincoln or George Washington. You're kind of like, I don't know if I believe you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a hard buy. It's a hard buy. But still, it's one of those things. But hey, I can't wait to um, watch that review. It was going to be awesome. Oh, that is my hope. <laughs> and as for me and what I've, I've been doing my week, besides the Overwatch, um, let's see, I'm trying to go for something radical. Um. <laughs> By now, I think all the listeners know that I play Magic the Gathering. So, yes, uh, I've been playing a bit of Magic the Gathering. And I've been having fun with that. Um, getting to play around the cards and just interacting with people with the cards is a lot of fun. And besides that... Oh, um, Devil May Cry 5 is coming out next year. And that got me really excited for the game. So, I've been playing a lot of Devil May Cry 4 just to fill in that gap. <laughs> oh, wait, Devil May Cry 4, that's the reboot, isn't it? No, that's DMC Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry 4 is the one with Nero. Okay, okay. I'm not even a Devil May Cry fan, but when I saw the review and, and how they had changed Dante, it's like, that's just wrong. I know, I know. Uh, but in all honesty, Dante or DMC Devil May Cry is not a bad game. It has potential but the creators of that game really didn't get the essence of devil may cry or what made that game so fun and in all honesty what makes that game fun is the cheese like all the cheesy one-liners all the cheesy quotes that the character do and the way they, they look it's cheese oozing out of them but you don't mind it because they're doing it in a cool way. Um, how to describe this? It's something like uh, it's so bad that it's good. Well, all I know is nothing will, nothing can top. I should have filled your dark soul with lies. <laughs> lies, <laughs> lies. <laughs> See, even that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, and totally, it's not creepy that you have your quote unquote. Um, girl partner look like your mom yes it ain't creepy it's not creepy yep <laughs> so yeah uh we'll be all right I, i've been playing that and i'm really excited for five and technically mega man 11 came out but i didn't have the cash to buy that because on top of that i also need to buy spider-man uh, there is a lot of things that i need to buy <laughs> and yes the spider-man dlc is coming out soon, so you're well timed. Mm, oh, if I'm not mistaken, they also added New Game Plus. Oh, did they? So you like like pl replay the story with all everything unlocked? Yes, that's what I heard. Oh, joy! I, I'd like to do that. Yay! That'll be awesome. Yeah, because because after I beat the game, I just kept swinging around New York and beating up criminals. But it was like it's like I'm not going anywhere. But I I just love web slinging too much. <laughs> Uh, thanks Spider-Man 2 for that because uh, Insomniac took inspiration out of that. Oh, there you go. It was one of the best things from a movie tie-in could do. Well, Something actually useful. Did you know the story of Spider-Man 2, the game's uh, backstory about swinging? Just that what happened, a developer really wanted to be like Spider-Man? No, um, a, one of the programmers really wanted uh, the swinging to be really good. And took time off, or not really took time off, he snuck in work when everybody went home and he 
did all the swinging programming on his own. Like he was adamant that we should do it this way and I've done the code and I staked my job on the line for this. And well, it paid off. Now please tell me he got a promotion. I don't know. You know Activision. That's it. That's that's the most depressing thing you could have said. You know, activate. I do, and it makes me sad. Yep, yep, yep. But anywho, whatever it is, that guy started a trend. It'll be awesome. So anywho, that's my week, and let's hit on to well, end step or the end. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thebsshowgmail dot com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Silver, where can the good people find you? Oh, a multitude of places. You can find me on the Twitters, MLP Silver Quill. You can find me on YouTube. Also, do a search just for Silver Quill or After the Fact, and you shall find me. Uh, you can find me on DeviantArt. Again, MLP Silver Quill. I was not very original in my branding. And every Wednesday, I post a comic review or editorial on Equestria Daily. Well, you aren't original in your branding, but you're consistent. <laughs> Consistency. I get a lot of fiber. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> God, no. Oh, wow. I've been taking supplements for that. But anywho, and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyBlive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. You'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Safi doing the pony reviews, the comic reviews, and the movie reviews. And also, sometimes we like to talk about other things than ponies. Uh, I think one time we did a discussion about uh, Batman the Killing Joke with Maddie. And sometimes I think we did a recent one with Video Games Story, if I remember right. Yes. Uh, do, do, should video games have a story? And my answer was yes. Yeah, sure. Or are video game story good or bad? It was kind of all over the place in the end. <laughs> yeah, it's a, well, that's part of the fun. True, 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 true. And also, we did the America's City book. <laughs> okay, what fresh sport of madness. You sick. You sick. Uh, I'm glad I could bring down the sickness. <laughs> Get down with the sickness. Yep, yep. So, anywho, uh, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I'd like to thank myself, Lag, Amy, Charles, Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Lurker Cat, and also Jeffrey. Thank you so much, guys, for the awesome support. You're great. So, anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am the Silver Quill. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Show. See ya. Adios. Adios.